subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand domain relational calculus. So this is another kind of relational calculus. So in our previous videos, in, in six to seven videos of our previous videos, we have covered about uh, 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 relational calculus. So in that we have clearly explained about what is meant by relational calculus and how uh, the expressions of relational calculus, tuple relational calculus can be written in a clear way. So in this class, we will try to understand what is meant by domain relational calculus and we will try to understand the concept of domain relational con uh, calculus with respect to with in comparison with the tuple relational calculus hope you have watched completely about tuple relational calculus and if you have if you haven't watched about tuple relational calculus please watch uh, those videos and come back here because we are going to understand domain relational calculus in comparison with tuple relational calculus Calculus, the way in which tuple relational calculus works in the comparison with the tuple relational calculus we will try to understand what is meant by domain relational calculus so the main difference between tuple relational calculus and domain relational calculus is in the tuple relational calculus we will take a variable for each and every tuple whereas in domain relational calculus we will take a variable for each and every domain or attribute okay so uh, for every attribute we have, we have to take as a variable for each and every attribute so this is how the domain relational calculus works in domain relational calculus the variable range over single values from the domain of of the attributes so from the domain of attributes means from the domain of attributes from the domain of the attributes we are going to take the variable and those variable is that variable is going to range over a single value so for example in the tuple relational calculus we have taken a variable and each variable t is going to uh, work on every tuple so on this tuple uh, this variable will work and similarly in the domain relational calculus we have to take a variable for each and each and every domain of the relation every attribute of the relation for every attribute of the relation we have to take a separate variable so this is how the domain relational uh, domain relational calculus will work let's try to uh, get the differentiation between tuple relational calculus and domain relational calculus uh, this is the expression that is used in the tuple relational calculus so what this expression states is t is a variable T is a variable which uh, this variable uh, for each tuple for each tuple in the relation we are going to apply conditions so some conditions will get applied those we call it as formula so uh, this is what we call it as formula and we have the atoms of the formula atoms of the formula means there are different ways in which the formula can be represent represented so the, all these discussions were clearly made in our tuple relational calculus anyhow we have a brief understanding here also so here it this is uh, this is one of the atom of the formula it is employee of t which means that it is the range relation it is the range relation which means that the values the values that we, that will get assigned to t the values that will get assigned to t means this tuple so for each and every tuple the tuples that will get assigned to t belongs to the relation called employee so this is what we call it as range relation the value that is stored in t will get range over the relation called employee and this is one of the kind of atoms of the formula atoms of the formula means this can be used in this condition or these conditions can also be used in the this these formulas these atoms of the formulas can also be used in the condition t dot f name is equal to ram so this is one of the condition and it is 
comparison operator t dot d number is equal to d dot d number so these are one of the these are the kinds of formulas that can be used in the condition part and similarly coming to the domain relational calculus here here these are the and these are the free variables and the variables that are used on the right hand side of the bar on the right hand side of the bar are called as uh, bounded variables similarly similarly here these are the variables that needs to be displayed so these are the variables that are given for the domain so q and s q and s means it is f name and l name so we want to display the values of f name and l name for these conditions so for this part so on this part whatever the conditions that are there so the conditions are applied on q r s t u v w so these are the names of the variables of the names of the variables of the domains on a relation okay so for example the atoms of the condition so these the the different types of uh, atoms of the formulas the different types of formulas that can be that can be there in the condition part of the expression is it is employee of q r s t u v w which means that this is the range relation and the attributes are q r s t u and the order of this attribute should be the order should be same as that of which means if the variable q has been taken it means that it is f name so the order should be is very important so the order of the uh, columns of the variables the order of the attributes of the relation should map with the variables if you assume that this has l name it is not possible because q is assigned to f name r is assigned to middle initial s is assigned to l name so this is how the variables will get assigned to the attributes of a relation so uh, this is what this is how the domain relational calculus works whereas in tuple relational calculus we will take only one variable for every tuple and next q is equal to ram so uh, q is equal to ram means the variable q the variable q is assigned to f name which means wherever the f name is equal to ram wherever q is equal to ram means wherever f name is equal to ram l is equal to z l is equal to z means so for example these are the uh, tuple relational uh, domain relational variables so if l is equal to z means the value of the the value in a tuple of an attribute uh, uh, should be equal to z so for example uh, we will try to understand these conditions in our examples so these these are the different types of uh, these are the different types of uh, formulas that can be used in the condition part of the domain relational calculus now we will try to understand the way in which the domain relational calculus works how to write the expressions for the domain relational calculus by using an example example so coming to this example retrieve the birth date address of the employee whose name is ragu a veer so uh, we have to retrieve the birth date and address birth date and address of the employee whose name is ragu a veer whose f name is ragu and middle initial is a and l name is veer so we have to extract this so in order to do the same job in tuple relational calculus this is the expression so what this expression states is t dot birth date t dot address such that we have to extract for every tuple for every tuple we have to extract the birth date and address if the following conditions happens to be true so what are the conditions employee so if this entire part happens to be true then only the birth date and address has to be extracted has to be displayed okay so what this condition is employee of t the way every tuple that we are going to take the every tuple we are going to take it should be from the employee relationship that is what we call it as range relation and f name is equal to ragu so f name sorry it is a t dot f name t dot m int and t dot l name so t dot f name is equal to ragu so t dot f name is equal to ragu means yes so if for example if you have taken this 
this tuple if this tuple has been taken then t dot ragu t dot f name is equal to ragu is it true yes it is true and the tuple is taken from employee and middle initial is equal to a so is middle initial equal to a yes it is true so it is true and l name t dot l name is equal to veer yes t dot l name is equal to veer so this condition is also true so if here we are using and and because all the values of this condition so these are called the atoms of the formula so these are called the atoms of the formulas okay so uh, all the all the all the conditions happens to be true and the conditional operators that we have used is and so the entire value is equal to true if the entire value is equal to true we have to extract t dot birth date and address so what is the t dot birth date it is this value and this value will get displayed okay so this is how uh, the tuple relational works the tuple relational calculus expression can be written how the same expression can be written by using domain relational calculus so what we have to do we have taken the variables q r s t u v w for all these attributes so these are the variables for each and every attribute of a relation okay so now we want to display t comma u we want to display t comma u which is birth date and address for there exist if there exist q comma r comma there exist q there exist r there so these are the free variables and the remaining variables are to be expressed by using the existential quantifier by using the quantifier uh, uh, the remaining variables are q r s v and w so uh, how this works that we will try to understand so if there exist q r s v w of this condition so if this condition happens to be true if this condition happens to be at least there exists at least one value to be true and if this happens to be true then only the values of t and u will get displayed so what are the conditions that are used here it is employee of q r s t u v w so these are all the attributes upon which the employee so the these are the attributes these are the variables of the domains and the range relation is employee and the condition is and the condition is q is equal to ragu q is equal to ragu is q equal to ragu so uh, we have to check tuple by tuple tuple by tuple but the checking has to be done on the domain okay so because the variables are q r the variables are assigned for the domains so we have to check uh, uh, the values of the domain so where q is equal to ragu is q is equal to ragu yes q is equal to ragu and r is equal to a is r equal to a yes and similarly is s equal to veer yes it is equal to so if this happens to be true if this happens to be true this happens to be true then we have to display t and u so what are the values of t and u for this tuple it is these values so these two values will get printed in the output the other form of the domain relational calculus is it is short form so we there is no need for us to display uh, there is no need for us to give all the variables along with the existential quantifier existential quantifier we can provide the uh, provide the variables with the existential quantifier only for those variables which are used in the conditions the variables which are used in the conditions are q r yes there is no need for us to give all these remaining variables which are not used in the conditions of the which are not used in the conditions of the expression so in the formula so if whatever the conditions whatever the conditions whatever the variables that are used in the formula in the atoms of the formula those variables can only be used in the in this existential quantifier there exists a q there exists a r there exists an yes so if there exist any of these values if there exist a q a r a s a q a r a, a s is equal to these values because these are the only variables that are used in the conditions we can use only 
these variables okay so this this is the short form for this expression we have used only q r s there exists a q there exists an r and there exists an s so if there exists these values then we have to display the values of t and u t and u means it is date of birth and address okay so this is the this is the difference between a tuple relational calculus and a domain relational calculus hope you got the clarity on this concept if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching